Welcome to the final part in my Crash Bandicoot Twok series. This is also going to be a bit of an update video for the channel because there's a few things that I want to talk about but I don't want to make a separate video just talking about them. So I'll just be talking about them as I play through these levels. Now you might be wondering is it actually going to be the last episode because of course I could always unlock the bonus area which would be right here where I'm standing. Um, I still don't know how to unlock them. I think you have to beat a few relics. I think what happens is when you beat the game you'll unlock the platform but you won't have access to any of the levels up there. Then what you have to do is you have to beat five relics to unlock the first level, beat another five to unlock the second level, and so on. I could be wrong about that, but it's something similar to that if, if it isn't. That would mean that the series would go on past one more episode because I would have to do a series unlocking the levels themselves. And you know, I haven't got anything better to do. There's not really anything going on with Crash Bandicoot right now. There's no new game. Crash 4 came out and I can still get videos out on that. But when it comes to like new stuff, there's not really anything going on right now. It does make me wonder what they're going to do for the Crash 25th anniversary because I hope they do more than just that bundle pack they released a few days ago. If you're not aware of that, they released the Insane Trilogy, Nitro Fueled, and Crash 4 in one single pack uh, for like, I think 60, I don't know how much it cost, like 50 pounds or something. But if that's all they were doing to celebrate Crash's 25th anniversary, I'd be a bit disappointed. I don't expect them to do anything massive or anything, like release an entire game. I think there was a leak that said they were going to release the PS2 games on the digital store. Crash of the Titans, Twin Sanity, maybe Nitro Kart, what else was there? Tag Team Racing? I think that's more likely, just simply because it's not, you know, making a whole entire new game. I'm not saying that doesn't take any work to make that happen, because it definitely does. But it's definitely more likely, I, I would say, and I wouldn't mind that, actually. Being able to play this game, for example, and especially if they made them widescreen, I think that would be really cool because I'm playing this currently on my 360 and I've got my 360 set up still just because of a few crash games. You know, the Xbox is really good for backwards compatibility, but not everything is backwards compatible. For example, Tag Team Racing isn't compatible on the 360, so it would be nice to have them all just on current platforms. It would just be nice to have access to all of them on the PS5 with an added bonus of them, you know, maybe being made widescreen. Do not pull a Super Mario 3D All-Stars. There's the crystal, the well-hidden crystal. Right. Did I get all these crates? Absolutely no way. Oh, I actually did. Wow. I just didn't think there was that many crates, but... The one thing I would really want, um, and I know it's probably not going to happen, but I would really want another multiplayer game. Just something where they would release updates for it every month like they did with Nitro Fueled. And I don't care whether it's Nitro Fueled 2, whether it's, you know, Wumpa League or whatever the hell that was supposed to be. I'm not really too bothered as long as it's fun. It's just with Nitro Fueled, I really looked forward to every month finding out which character was coming to the game, what the track was going to be. And I know there was data mines that I, you know, looked at as soon as they came out. So I pretty much always knew what was coming, but there were a couple things that we actually didn't know were going to happen and even the things that I did expect because I did read the data mines looking forward to actually playing as them when they came out in the update the following month was still fun and while I do love Crash 4 that's just something that's missing you know it's not getting any added content and it's not really the game for that you know it's not like you can add characters and, and stuff like that I'm sure they, there could be DLC for it but it's not like a multiplayer game where there's you know constant new characters or anything that have to come they could add skins and new challenges to unlock things but I just want a new fun crash multiplayer game. That's what I want. There we go. Probably didn't need to get that box because the thing would have blown it up. But... Oh, I absolutely hate these sections of Wrath of Cortex. They're just too slow. Not necessarily this bit, but the, the, the other ones from the last episode. But yeah, so I did want to do an update on the channel itself because um, I've not been posting as much recently. That's not actually because of, you know, I've run out of ideas or anything. I mean, I, I could do countless videos on different series because I'm still doing my mega series where I'm playing through every Crash game. This is obviously, you know, the last episode of Wrath of Cortex. I've already done Twin Sanity. I've started Tag Team Racing and Titans. I will finish those at some point. I mean, I've got stuff to do. It's just I want to move into a more sort of a scripted direction like I used to do. Anything that requires a script, whether it's a topic that I want to talk about and, and write a script about. I've just been doing way more live commentaries like this recently, and there's nothing wrong with them. They're not going away. But I definitely miss doing the more review style videos. I think the last one I did was the Crash of the Titans DS review. Yeah, I might as well not bother getting them crazy because I know for a fact that I've missed quite a lot. Yeah, I could get lives from it, but I've already got 85, so I don't really need them. There's the world and power. That is the worst Crash Bandicoot fail I think I've ever had. And I have to go through the monkey bar section again, which is painfully slow. I literally went to get the crystal and walked off the edge. <laughs> I might as well just quit with this series as a whole. Get me out of here. 
Ah, yes, I know this level. I'm really bad with remembering Crash Bandicoot level names. I always forget the names of the majority of levels. I, I remember them visually. I have to see them to be like, oh yeah, it's that one. Look at this pathetic little tiny tiger. He cares so little about actually capturing Crash Bandicoot that he doesn't even turn around. I am right here. Just turn around and get me. The Dingo Dial is actually kind of useful. Entropy, on the other hand. Though I think I actually have been killed by Entropy up here. Okay, um, is it down here? Oh, I, I thought it was the end of the level at that section, but no, I guess it's here. Moving on to Crate Balls of Fire. It's a mech level with the runaway section at the end, isn't it? Oh yeah, and it starts off with this god-awful... Brilliant. So, you know, when you accidentally die, because I was rushing, I have to go through this very long monkey bar section again. I'm already done with this game. Here we go. Let's try not to die. <laughs> At least the platforming in it is actually pretty decent. You know, it's not that janky to control or anything. Okay, we're done. All right, last level. I had to take a little break there. I think somebody's about to jump off of my bed. But until that happens, I'm just going to progress with the level as normal. Just brilliant. I think I do hold the title of worst Crash Bandicoot player of all time. Yeah, definitely. I don't like this level because, yeah, the, the, the things, the obstacles get in the way of the camera. And I'm not trying to blame this on the level itself, it's just... It's annoying. You see what I'm saying? Like, it's it's hard to see where I am because the, the, the goddamn bars in the front. Why do I... You know what? Let's just speak to it. I'm not even going to talk. Let's just get through this level. Ah. You've been chewing my chair, haven't you? I'll be all right. Oh, yeah. The invincibility mess a bit where you just run through all the crates. Get the crystal, which I've missed countless times in the past. Like, I've just ran past it because it blends in with the background. Right, it's now on to crunch time. The final boss. Again, I stopped giving a toss about getting all the boxes a long time ago, but we got one clear gem. Anyway, let's go on to this level. This boss fight is actually pretty tough, um, and it usually gets me in the last few phases, which is a bit annoying because then you have to go through all the other phases just to retry. Mm, okay, that does the boulders. Because my controls are inverted, so going up it actually goes down. I can probably change that in settings, but I'm too lazy. What does this do? Okay. Let's just stand over here. And then we'll do this again. Oh, ah! Really? My dog is attacking me as well as Crunch. This is really bad. He's chewing on my toes right now. Ow! He's trying to take my socks off. But he's biting my toes. I'm fighting two bosses at once. I don't know if I can do this actually. This is really hurting me. Okay, then he's gonna do this again. And then he's going to drop out the ice. It's, this is just too much to do all at once, you know? Like, we've still got a bunch of phases left. Oh, shit. It's the laser. And look, you get to the last phase and you have to redo it. No! But it's just this last phase, he does everything and he does it multiple times, so it's so long. Just so much room for error. Okay, I, I, you can't double jump at that bit because you will just completely miss. You, you, you won't be able to see like which one is gonna... Okay. Is that it? No. Of course, he's going to do that again. Just once more. Oh, for God's sake, how many times is he going to do this? I'm actually... Oh my God, we did it. If I missed that shot there and had to do it again, and then if I died, I probably would have died at that bit. I would have been so pissed off. Speed shoes, yay. All right, let's get the ending then. Can't you ever let me win? The false ending, what I suppose. What do you want from me, you cretin? Cortex, you realize that Crash may have collected all the crystals, but he doesn't have the gems. With the gems, we can resurrect the masks one last time and destroy that bandicoot once and for all. Again, depending on what I feel like doing, uh, I might go and get that the extra ending and the extra level. Here's the extra level, so yeah, I was right, you do unlock it after finishing the main game. If you hear any, if you hear any squeaks, my...
Actually, I was correct about this as well. It's five relics and then ten. Get them all and then you can unlock all five levels. If I ever get the Wrath of Cortex urge, I'll definitely continue the save file. I get the urge to play through all the Crash Bandicoot games at least once a year. I wake up some days and feel like, you know what? I want to play through Tag Team Racing again. You know what? I want to play through Twin Sanity again. I'm sure you can relate. Anyway, I'll save over my save file and that'll be it for today's video. So thank you for watching. I hope you all enjoyed. Definitely subscribe if you're new here and I will see you all in my next video.